Hey, what's up guys? Got a uh, new knife in today. Wanted you guys to check it out. I just uh, started cutting open the box and forgot I hadn't pushed play. So the box is already cut. But uh, let's check this out. Neat knife that I had seen, I think, on Instagram. Um, I think Chris Rock on Instagram. I don't know if that's how you say his name or if it's got some numbers on there. I want to say it's Chris Rock like 690 or something like that. But anyway, I think he had posted about this maker... Uh, not that long ago, and, and when I saw it, it was I was very interested in, in taking a look at the product. So, uh, I don't know if he put something on it, but I looked the guy up, found out, sent him an email, um, got on his books right away, and uh, he wasn't that far out, maybe a, you know two months or so. And I uh, got an email from him about a week and a half, two weeks ago, that my knife was up, and told him what I wanted to do, this, that, and the other, and so here it is. Anyway, this is uh, a knife called the Typhoon. And by the way, this is a really cool way to package the product, and I'll, I'll pull this up so you can see it. But uh, it's the Typhoon, and it's kind of hard to read. Serial number is 20. Blade is CPM S35VN. Frame 6A04V Titanium. By a company called Sharp by Design. His name's Brian Nadeau. N-A-D-E-A-U, I believe. Uh, N-A-D-E-A-U, yeah, so. Out of Joyzy. But uh, anyway, cool cool way to package it. So this is kind of like your, uh, you know, auth auth uh, certificate of authenticity. I couldn't figure out what word I wanted to say there. So anyway, but cool packaging. I always like when you get a, a knife that's got some neat packaging. So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Um, very nice, actually. Let's uh, start with this. So this is the company, sharpbydesign.com, Brian Nadeau. His email is right there. Phone number is right there. So, same thing on both sides. So, anyway, uh, if you guys want to get a hold of him, pause the video and you can check all that stuff out. So, let's see the knife. Let's look at it close up. Uh, what I had him do was I wanted it heat anodized. I like uh, heat anodization better. And I wanted it mostly blue and fading into purple and ending with a very light bronze. And uh, he was like, crap, that's going to be hard to do because obviously when you're heat treating something, the, the heat covers the majority of the product, especially when it's, the, you know, it's only this thin. So uh, he said, I'll do what I can do. And he nailed it. I mean, he did an excellent job. He sent me pictures of the work in progress, and I told him I said, dude, that is it. And I wanted this left like the clean titanium look. Uh, but anyway, he really did a great job. Uh, I wanted it done on both sides like that, and you can see he did an extremely good job. So let's go through this real quick. It's got like of a raised, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. It's kind of a grippy, grippy type uh, machining that, he's, that he has done. He has a couple different versions, but this one's a little bit uh, of the raised portion all over, and he's got some that I think have lines down it. Uh, I like the way this one looks best. Anyway, um, so pivot is custom pivot. I'm not certain if he machines it or if it's a if he buys it, um, but you can still use a normal type of screw to get in there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's stainless steel hardware is what my guess is. Uh, on the on the back side, um, I actually like this. You know, it's a normal plain type of clip. It looks like he's done like a hand rub finish on it. Or maybe, yeah, some type. Of, I can't tell if it's orange peel. But it, it looks to me like it's a uh, some type of a satin finish. But anyway, it uh, goes to the bottom of the knife. And I guess comes out in the inside. And that's how it locks in. So it's a different type of design. Sorry, I'm scratching my arm. Um, but different than you know what some people have where they got the screws on the back or they're underneath and it loops back up and comes around. So plain pocket clip, but still cool, cool design feature. Relief cut there, and then he does a uh, a cut. I mean a um, lock bar insert so that it doesn't wear, which is kind of neat. I didn't know he did that, so I'm finding that out right now. And then it looks like it's got its own built-in over travel too. So uh, blade is mm, looks pretty dead center. It's kind of hard to tell by this 
looks pretty straight to me. Got a machined backspacer in the gear pattern. So, all in all, it looks really good. Um, flipper tab's kind of neat, where he's got uh, his initials BN on there. So anyway, let's see how her action is. That's what I'd heard is she flips really well. Flips great. Yeah, I think it's a... I think that's a hand rub satin, actually. It looks really nice. Really good. Nice uh, jimping on the spine. It's um, pretty aggressive. Doesn't hurt, but it feels... Uh, like you can get a good purchase on it and, and uh, get some good cutting in there. And on the back side. I really like this, how he's done the... So there's no logos on the blade. I don't know that he puts the steel anywhere, but uh, I like how he's done his logo. Just ever so much just sitting on the uh, flipper tab to where it doesn't gaud up the blade itself with a bunch of logos everywhere. Uh, lock up is early, probably about 25%, hmm, 30% maybe. And then let's, uh, yeah, so that's your over travel stop there, which is a great idea. Integrated into the insert. Um, as far as play, it's solid as a rock. Let's see how our detent is. Great detent. Great flipper. Got a nice sound to it. Let's see what happens when you. Yeah, really smooth actually. Yep. So, really impressed. This is a, a well made knife. It's got some good weight to it as well. And in the inside, it looks like he's done some cutaways in there. Um, however, it still, still has some good weight to it. So let's get into some dimensions real fast and see blade length and that sort of thing. So blade length on this guy is a four inch blade. It's actually four inches from the tip of the blade until the beginning of the frame. So from the to the pivot, it's uh, close to four and a half, a little over four and a quarter. So it's a good size blade. Overall length on this guy, and I know you guys can't really see that. Maybe that'll help if I turn it toward you a little bit. But overall length of this guy is about not right at nine inches from uh, tip to tail. So it's a good size knife. This is right in in my wheelhouse as far as uh, the size of the knife that I like to hold and, and carry. It's it's right to the end where I can get a full grip on it. It's not too big where it's hanging off. Um, it's got a good thickness to it. So let's uh, let me grab a couple of knives and see what what it looks like compared to them. Um, let's go with uh, let's go with a sheer Goroff. Same four inch blade and pretty much exactly the same size. I mean handles are the same size. Again, remember the angle going backwards is going to make what's ever in the back look smaller. So if I was to change this up, put this in the back, and do butt to butt, the sheer grow off will look bigger. And it's not. It's exactly the same size. So as far as that goes, they're they're identical. Um, let's look at the thicknesses. Pretty much the same. Might be a little, a little bit thicker because of the contouring of the titanium here. This isn't flat. Like the sheer grow off is pretty flat. You know straight through well this guy's got some good rounding contour so it might look a little bit thinner because the actual edge of the frame is, is cut in so much to, to really give a good good feel and contouring to the knife work so it'll make it look like it's actually thinner but it may even be a little bit thicker so uh, so that's a sure grow off there let's put that away let's put the um, for coloration purposes, we'll put the Norseman down there. Norseman, I think, is a three, three three quarter blade. Is what I'm I'm thinking it is. 
yeah, it's like three and three quarters, almost a four inch blade as well. It's just about four inches to the pivot. So very similar size. Now the difference between these two is going to be this. The Norseman's a pretty thin knife, and again, it's not really, uh, you can kind of see from the butt how much wider this uh, Typhoon is than the Norseman. Same thing with the blade. Blade steel is thinner on there as well. So anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I am uh, wasn't certain what to expect, honestly. Whenever you hear about a new maker, then it looks cool, but... I like to, you know, I like to feel stuff and touch it before I buy it. And a lot of times in this game, I don't have any sort of knife shops really locally that sell anything other than production knives. There's no custom uh, people around here. So anything I do has got to be either through one of the forums or buy direct from a maker. Um, you know, so that's kind of how I've, I've learned to... Uh, see what I like but unfortunately you have to purchase them in order to see if you like but with this guy I wasn't sure and um and I'm really impressed I think this guy makes a, an awesome product and uh, it's it's real smooth it hasn't broken in but uh, flips great sounds great looks great and feels great so that's the Typhoon from Sharp by Design a Brian Nido uh, custom knife so anyway guys uh, thanks for checking it out, and I will talk with you soon. Take care.